you know that Rick Scott, Governor Rick Scott, is at Captain Anderson's right now? Governor Rick Scott is at Captain Anderson's right now, and he's fighting. He's, there's gnashing of teeth. <laughs> They're trying to save corporate welfare because without corporate welfare, the News Herald tells us it would be catastrophic to Florida. Catastrophic without corporate welfare. If Dan Rowe at the Turtle Development Council, uh, Tourist Development Council, Tourist Development Council, if he doesn't make $190,000 a year, it's going to be catastrophic to Florida. If Becca Hardin at the EDA, at the uh, Economic Development uh, Alliance, if she doesn't make a uh, six-figure income, it's going to be catastrophic. Catastrophic to who? Whom? Catastrophic to whom? <laughs> catastrophic to their own salaries. That's who it's going to be catastrophic to. Do you know that Governor Rick Scott is here right now saying how bad we need to keep Enterprise Florida, how bad we need to keep Visit Florida? Because without them, we wouldn't have what? Tourists. But as Speaker, uh, the new Speaker of the House in Florida, Richard Corcoran, points out, guess what we had before we had these Bolshevik agencies? Any, t any guesses? Guess what we had before we had these Bolshevik agencies? That's right. Tourists. He says, we had tourists before we had these stupid nonprofit agencies that are now quasi-governmental agencies, some that even have taxing authority. Some even have taxing authority. So Speaker Corcoran is saying, we had tourists before we had the Tourist Development Council. Actually, that's been around for a long time. No, not as long as the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Not, not as long as the beautiful sandy beaches in Florida. But uh, listen to this. The News Herald swoops in to defend uh, corporate welfare. But here's an interesting thing. Jay Trumbull is my state representative. Jay Trumbull is caught between a rock and a Richard Corcoran. Because, <laughs> see, Richard Corcoran, he's all about transparency. He understands that jobs come from entrepreneurs, not politicians. The new Speaker of the House is the bomb diggity, man. He's awesome. <laughs> My girls say that's not cool anymore. My daughters, one of them will be 13 in a couple weeks. They say the new word is lit. The Speaker of the House is lit. But then they say, now watch this. You talk about being caught between a rock and a hard place. They tell me that the cool word now is lit, but I can't say that stuff <laughs> because you're too old dad that's what they tell me you're too old dad you can't say lit can I say bomb diggity no what can you say you're old dad anyway um, so the new speaker of the house though the new speaker of the house is awesome he understands that dollars should be earned rather than awarded by politicians and whenever you tell politicians that they freak out which is what Governor Scott's doing. L listen to this. First of all, I might as well tell you, if you say, Bernie, you're always saying stuff about the News Herald. I'm telling you the truth about the News Herald. The News Herald is under different ownership than it was uh, when I had great respect for it. They also are under a different editor than when I had great respect for it. And now they're uh, writing editorials like this. This is, this is not a guest op-ed piece. This is the newspaper's opinion, the publisher's opinion. Are you ready for this? Tourism agency needs guiding, not gutting. Because the new legislature is thinking about gutting completely these Bolshevik agencies. I want to read this to you. But since my daughters have one point, then I am getting older. Let me don these here. Can you believe this? It's ridiculous. All right, so this is an uh, editorial from the Panama City News Herald. New Florida House Speaker Richard Corcoran. His heart is in the right place, they say. He's outspoken about shoring up our suspect ethics system to curb the influence of lobbyists, promoted greater transparency in budgeting, protected taxpayers from wasteful spending, and supported a vital school choice program pr that primarily benefits underprivileged minority children. So he's good on all that stuff, they say. The Land O'Lakes Republican also led an assault. Now it's an assault. 
on Visit Florida, the state's main tourism promotion agency, which he views as frivolous and unproductive. Not only does he view it that way, that's what the data indicates. See, Richard Corcoran, he did. there's a study on this, and it shows that the money is being wasted. You know what I love about him, too, is somebody's challenging me on Twitter. They said, you can't prove that the uh, that Visit Florida is not bringing in tourists. Now think about how tricky that is. You can't prove that it doesn't work. Was that person right? Kind of, kind of, because you cannot, here's, here's um, a, an important point on logic. You cannot prove a negative. I can't say things would have been worse if so-and-so had been elected, you know, because you can't prove a negative. I never said either that Visit Florida was not bringing in tourists. That's not the question. Elisha Cruz knows the questions because he knows where I'm going to go with this. Because anytime you're looking at public policy, anytime you're looking at political policy, you should ask a few questions. The question is not... Does Visit Florida bring in tourists? Of course it does. The question is, A, compared to what? B, that's B, B at what cost? And three, what evidence do you have? Those are the three questions. You should train yourself to ask these three questions. Compared to what? So they're bringing in, in, in tourists. Compared to what? Compared to before Visit Florida? Secondly, at what cost? Okay? Anytime government gets involved in marketing for their favored industries over other industries, at what cost? At what cost to fairness? At what cost to taxpayers? Because do you really think that it is fair do you really think that it is the government's role for politicians to pay for the marketing budgets of certain industries over other industries? Is that, is that fair in any sense of the word? 